Johnny Jackson, a good looking 22 year old young man is gunned down at a beach party. Two other friends are shot. Let's watch this court TV special that I did tonight and learn more about this case. It's time to open up tonight's unsolved case file, and this is the part of the program where we are literally asking for your help. Uh, two ways. One, um, I've posted the story on my Facebook page. Please share it so it spreads everywhere, number one. But most importantly, if you know anything, anything, any piece of information, I don't care if it's secondhand, thirdhand, whatever it is, pick up that phone tonight and help because there is a family that is heartbroken that needs answers and needs a sense of justice. We're talking about the murder of Johnny Jackson. Our affiliate WFTX in Fort Myers, Florida, has the story. He was lovable. He loved to achieve. He was a good friend. For 22 years, Johnny Jackson was here. He's like, he was like the heart of our family. His mom, Thomasina Daniel, says that all changed in the wee hours of the morning on July 16th, 2020. A family fun day weekend. All of my grandkids, everybody was out there. A family gathering at the Lonnie Kai in Fort Myers Beach ended with bullets. About 12 o'clock, my 12-year-old Judah calling me on the phone, screaming, hollering. I'm waking up out of my sleep. Mom, somebody just killed Johnny. His mother says he was targeted in the past when he was in high school while walking in the Dunbar community. These, these boys jumped out of the bushes with guns and start shooting at him. But she wants to make it clear that the two shootings aren't related. So they try to make it seem like, you know, because of that incident that you know, maybe he did something to cause this, that, no. They was all out there having a family fun day. And this happened. And for the last 365 days, she says one thought has never left her mind. I just want to know who did it. But Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers says one year later, they still don't have that answer. Since the beginning, there, there are certain people that have been on the radar, but here we are 12 months later and no arrests. And they say people at home can help. We know that there are people in our community who absolutely know what happened to Johnny. In fact, Crime Stoppers is counting on the one year anniversary of Jackson's death to serve as a pivotal reminder and moment in this case. We understand that after something horrible like this happens, say if you were there, that maybe right at, at first you may not necessarily want to be the one seen talking to law enforcement, maybe because of the chaos of the scene, the closeness that you may have been to that scene or to players that were involved, you may not want to say something right away. Totally get that. But a year later, if you were there and you have intimate knowledge of what happened that night, you that's burned into your memory. You absolutely are going to be able to recall every little detail. Someone lost his life. You're going to remember that. And they say, if nothing else, coming forward to provide information is an act that can help keep yourself and others safe. Think about his family. Do the right thing for them. You know, if this person had the capacity to just aggressively and boldly take Johnny's life on the beach and then take off, what else have they done in the last year? What other violent um, capacities do they have? Daniels oh, says between Crime Stoppers, an anonymous donor, and her family, there's now a $33,000 reward connected to this case. If this was to happen to your loved one, to your son, or your daughter, you would want somebody that's seen it to come forth and tell what they know. And she has this message for whoever pulled the trigger. You, you're still alive. 
You're still alive. You can admit your wrong, suffer your consequences, and move on with your life. But my son, he's dead. If it's any good, any kind of good in you, admit your wrong. All right, here's the phone number. 1-800-780-8477. That is Crime Stoppers. 1-800-780-8477. Coming forward to do the right thing. There's also a $33,000 reward, so there's even more incentive. But at the end of the day, come on. If If you've got the information, just provide it. Get it done. I, I can't stress enough how this destroys people. It absolutely destroys people. But look at what we heard in the piece. I mean, there's a killer out there. There is a killer walking free. And you could be the one that has the piece of information that takes the killer off the street. Justice for a family, and maybe you save another family from going through uh, what Johnny's family is going through. All right, still with us, retired FBI Special Agent Bobby Chacon and retired police commander and host of Profiling Evil podcast, Mike King. Also joining us in Fort Myers, Florida, uh, Johnny's mom, Tomasina Daniels. And joining us by phone tonight, a reporter from our great affiliate WFTX, Rochelle Aline is with us. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Uh, Tomasina, thank you so much. Um, On behalf of everyone at Court TV, our thoughts are are with you. Uh, We are so sorry for your loss, and uh, we will keep this story going, and and that's all I can do. Um, But we know there's someone out there that can do a lot more tonight. Uh, Tomasina... I want to make this real for people. I want them to understand who Johnny, who, what Johnny's all about, what his life and what you are missing tonight and every night. Johnny was the, the glue to our family. If someone, any one of us in our family had some kind of falling out, Johnny is going to bring us back together. He, all of my grandkids, which is his nieces and nephews, they loved him because, like, when my when he my daughters had to work and couldn't find a babysitter, he would watch, you know, the, the kids, his nieces and nephews for them. You know, he 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 was everything to us. He was everything. He loved his sports. An awesome, dynamic basketball player. Um, he was that kid that when he come outside to play, the whole community is coming out. Yeah, that's that's who he was. I can see it in the pictures. I, I can see it. Yeah. I mean, it just jumps right out at you. Yeah, um, very loving, caring. Tell, tell me about that weekend, though. That was, it, was a, it was a family fun weekend? Yes. Him and all of my kids, they um, rented um, uh, three days out to the uh, resort, the Lonnie Kai Resort, um, to have a family fun day. All the kids just, and the grandkids um, bonding together, having a family fun day. Yeah. And um, about... I'll say, I think it was about close to one o'clock that morning. Um, my youngest son called me screaming and crying, saying that someone just killed him, killed Johnny. Yeah. It's been more than a year now. Yes. Rochelle Aline from WFTX uh, TV, our great affiliate. What, what are police saying? What have you heard? What's the latest in this investigation? Are they getting any closer? You know, at this point right now, we're still waiting to get some more information on how many tips stories like this have generated. But as far as I know, no arrests have been made. And so that's why, you know, segments like these are so important to push and really encourage people to share tips because police say, again, like you saw in the piece, while they have had some people of interest or some people they've been keeping tabs on, uh, nothing concrete enough for them to make an arrest in this case so far. Mike King, what, what, what advice would you have for, for Tomasina tonight? As, I know you've worked with so many families that have gone through, uh, unfortunately, 
things like this. Well, well, Mrs. Daniels, sorry. I mean, what a what a handsome young man, and uh, what a tragedy. The, I, I guess one of the first things I think of when I when I look at this is I, I would like to know more, and unfortunately, we don't get to know more about whether your son was a target on that beach that day, or whether he just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And and those are all things for the police department to look at. But the the good news, if there could ever be good news, is that the um, weapons that were used, if there was DNA collected, shell casings, uh, other kinds of evidence, the federal government has become so good at testing firearm data that one day this will turn up and there will be something that ties the shooter um, back. But uh, those are the first two things I would think of, Vinny. Bobby Chacon, retired FBI special agent, how do you think this case gets solved and uh, Tomasina and her family get some sense of justice and, and get the answer that they need? Yeah, well, my condolences to the family. In a case like this, it's so senseless, right? These are the, these are the things that, that, that we really work hard for to get justice for families like this where, where these crimes are just so senseless. But I think what you're doing, Vinny, and what this show is doing, what the reporter is doing, keeping this case alive is what will solve it. Somebody knows something. In fact, more than one person knows something. And I'm not talking about the killer. I'm talking about other people that are in the killer's life or friends of theirs or friends on the periphery of their life. Somebody knows something. Some people know something. They just have to be motivated enough to come forward. And, and relationships change with friends and, and friends become not friends anymore. And, and rewards help and publicity helps. And seeing these pictures from Johnny and what a sweet young man he was, I, I'm all of this is what's going to solve this case. If somebody will come forward uh, as long as this case stays relevant and stays in the public eye and, and efforts like you're making to keep it on Facebook and, and to generate um, viewership on it, um, that's, I believe, what will solve a case of this nature. Rochelle, Aline, tell me a little bit about the community down there and how they've reacted to all of this. I mean, people are devastated. I remember very vividly uh, the day that this happened, and I wasn't even the reporter that covered this. One of my colleagues was actually the person that covered this when it first happened, and it stuck with so many of us in our newsroom. And so I was personally shocked, you know, a, a year later to see that this case still hadn't been solved. I was reminded of that because billboards have been put up all over Southwest Florida. There's one uh, in the Dunbar community, a predominantly black community that Johnny was partly raised in. There's one on Fort Myers Beach where he was killed. They're all over the community. And I saw one of those billboards in May, and I said to myself, oh, my goodness, they still haven't found whoever pulled the trigger in this case. And that's what led me to call Miss Daniels and say, hey, we should talk about this. I know the one-year anniversary is coming up. I know people want to see whoever shot Johnny uh, put behind bars. Let's make sure that we remind them that that person still hasn't been found. Thomasina, as we, we finish up the segment tonight, um, explain to me and everyone who's watching what it would mean to, to, to get justice in this case, to have someone held responsible and get that answer? It will mean, it will mean everything. I mean, Royce cannot even describe what it would mean to us, you know, because, I mean, he was everything to our family. He was that glue that kept us together, you know? So it, it, words can't describe. It would mean everything to us, everything to us. Well, Thomasina, we will stay on the story. We're not one and done. We're like WFTX. We are gonna stay on the story and, and not stop. So we'll be- And I just wanna say thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this and I'm so thankful. For TV and um, you, Mr. Vinny, for all of this, and also uh, Rochelle. Thank you, guys, and, and the other um, panelists. <laughs> Thank Ab you, guys, so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thomasina Daniels, uh, Johnny's mom. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Rochelle Aline, WFTX, Bobby Chacon, and Mike King. Always appreciate you guys as well. Uh, again, we're going to stay on the story. We will speak again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Still ahead. 
Well, I want to thank Vinnie Politan and the entire panel, especially Mrs. Daniels, who joined to talk about her son, Johnny. These kinds of things can be solved, folks. If you know something, step up and say something. I really appreciate the chance to come on to Court TV and to share these stories with you. And I hope that you'll carry the flame a little bit further down the trail so that more people see and hear about this case. Thanks so much for supporting Profiling Evil and have a great day. Thank you.